Hello there and welcome back to Piano Music and Anime Character Girls with cat ears. I am the Orange Genius, but you may call me Eric, and this is Let's Play Magical Diary. Also, when I clicked on the screen to make the computer focus on this video, on this screen, window, whatever, I kinda clicked past the first box of dialogue, so I'm sorry about that. But one boy has fairy ears and a long fluffy tail. One girl has glittering wings. This is, by the way, this is the initiation and we're gonna uh, know all of the classmates we're gonna have. She's got a nice necklace. I want to have such wings. Why couldn't I? I had the option to make myself a character. I couldn't be a butterfly. And that girl looks like a vampire. She does look like a little bit pale. She's got a snake. Well, is that what it means to be born a witch? Being something other than human? Virginia looks normal, but she could be hiding something under her robes. Now, oh, that's just silly. The muttering and shuffling of students drops off as someone steps up to the podium. <sighs> Huh? Hello, my little flower buds. Welcome to Iris Academy. It start. Uh, I start to applaud, but freeze as I realize that no one else is. Then Virginia beside me picks up the clapping loudly. Soon the whole room is cheering. I thought I clicked something. The witch holds up her hands and the room settles back into silence. My name is Professor Potsdam and I will be one of your instructors in the ways of magic. For some of you, this is the beginning of an adventure such as you never imagined. For others, this is only the next step in a journey you have been expecting all of your lives. At Iris Academy, we teach spelling uses uh, using the Pentachromatic system. That had romantic in there, right? Red magic is forceful, but not necessarily violent. Blue is the color of transformation and change. Green is the color of life and the world of plants and animals. That's these magic types right here. White magic affects the mind and spirit, and black magic is contained within physical objects. Your palette should contain at least a few depths of every magical color, but a beautiful painting doesn't need every shade. It's style that matters. You all have different strengths, but different, uh, different talents. Here in the Iris Academy, we embrace that diversity and tailor our education to your needs. Choose your schedule to focus on personal talents. Don't try to begin a reflection of your classmates. Follow your own star, wherever it may lead you. That's the way in which you are all alike. You each have your own future, and I know you'll make, it, make us proud. Her starry eyes way of speaking reminds me a little bit of my old school's guidance counselor. But she certainly seems nicer than Professor Garbiner. I wonder which class she teaches. You have been divided into halls, and uh, divided into halls to keep you make friend to help you. Wow, to help you make friends with classmates who share similar interests. For the girls, but what? For the girls, we have uh, the adventurous horses, the charming butterflies, and the mysterious snakes. Each group claps as their name is called. The horses louder than the others, or perhaps that's just because I'm sitting with more of them. For the boys we have the daring wolves, the elegant falcons and the eldritch toads. Really? What a... I'd probably be in that category to be honest. I'm not sure what eldritch means, but toads sounds even worse than snakes. 
I hope you will all become good friends, not just in each hall, but and not just in your year, but throughout the whole academy. We'll see about that. I'll probably piss everybody off. But most importantly, I hope you'll get to know and trust your roommates, so that by the end of the year you are able to work as a team for your final exams. <laughs> and I know you're all looking forward to your exams, yes? That is like the creepiest face I have seen in days. Maybe months. The audience predictably groans. For testing's purposes, your instructors will regularly set you practical challenges in the school dungeons. This school has dungeons. Each task has many possible solution. yes, solutions. You will need to make creative use of the spells you have chosen to learn, so think ahead about what might be useful and how. Okay. Are you all ready for magic? Open your diaries and begin penciling in your schedule. Ah, okay. I need to choose, choose which classes to attend this week. There are classes for each kind of magic plus general studying, which sounds boring, and gym class, which I've always liked. Okay, well, yeah, I'm gonna go over the stats now, I think. Because I'm gonna... Uh, maybe I'm gonna wait till I have to pick classes. Which I've always liked. I can also schedule free time to relax and unwind. For most of my life, my classes have been planned out for me by my school. It wasn't until last year that I got to make any choices at all. Catanese, French or Spanish. Physics, chemistry or biology. Still. Everyone had to have the same number of classes and they all started and ended at the same time. You couldn't get out of it. If I can choose whatever schedule I want here, what would happen if I never went to class at all? Would they really let me get away with that? Hmm. What should I do this week? Okay, sleep, 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 no. I've got study, gym, white magic. Uh, okay. Red magic, violent but not hurtful. Transformation magic, uh, plants, yeah, awesome, right? Plants and animals, I mean. Black magic, uh, like, wow, there's, there's pot next to it. Hmm. And white magic, which I completely forgot what that does. We've got also, we've also got stress, but that's at zero, so. Sleeping might not be the best thing to do, and merits, minus 10, yeah. Money? Well, maybe I should um, go... No, not. I'm not gonna say it. Okay. I'm gonna hit the gym at first, then I'm gonna... I'm gonna study at first and then hit the gym, then do some pot. Magic, of course, black magic, and uh, then take a transformation class, and... Nope, wait, transformation class is on Friday, and here I'm gonna relax a little bit. Okay. <laughs> what, did she say something? Oh my god, no, please don't. There don't seem to be any teachers assigned to the gym. Just a bunch of equipment that everyone can use. I see several large rubber balls. If I can organize some people together, maybe we can play prison ball. Yeah. Well, hello there. I turn to see you speaking. Ah, okay. Um, a falcon. I forgot about the adjective that was used. At least it's not a toad, right? Who or what is that? That's a handsome young man with um, demon wings. He's dressed like a student, but I'm sure I didn't see him at the orientation. I would have noticed. Ask about his wings. 
pretend everything is normal, of course. Why would you ask about him, his wings, right? I wouldn't. Um, hello! Determined to be polite, I hold out my hand for him to shake. He takes hold of it, but then he bows over it instead. Oh, a real gentleman, huh? My name is Damien. And you are? Claire. I don't remember see, uh, seeing you at the orientation. That's because I am not a freshman. Cheeky grin. Mr. Cheeky grin. Oh, that makes sense. Don't worry. You're not expected to recogni recognize all the upperclassmen on site yet. That's next week. <laughs> right. I'm not sure if he's teasing me or not, but I'd rather just let it go over my head and be done with it. He sighs. I suppose it was too much for me to hope for. What is? What is? No, it's all right. I understand. You've already heard the rumors. He's gay. No. What rumors? About me. They say that I'm cursed. Doomed to be evil. All because of what I look like. I can't help the way I was born. Wow. Well. Nope. 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 Got bad thoughts. But now girls like you won't even talk to me. You hate me on sight. That's not it. It seems like no matter what I do, I make things worse. I've just never seen anyone like you before, so I didn't want to stare. I don't know anything about you. I'm new at all, uh, at all this. Yeah, never played a social simulator before. <laughs> you mean you're a wild seed? Don't worry, I won't hold it against you. That wouldn't be very fair of me, uh, of me would it? No, nope, I guess not. Is it really a problem being wild? My roommate says it doesn't matter, but somebody else was mean about it. I'm not sure it's a good idea to mention the professor by name. I don't want to sound like I'm accusing him. It's always the way of the world. People can be cruel to others or who are different. Well, I am an upperclassman, so if anyone gives you trouble about it, just let me know. I'll scare them off for you. Thanks, I guess. You'd better get on with your physical training. You'll need your strength next week. Dude. What happens next week? You'll find out. What a teaser. He winks at me and walks off uh, to the sports equipment office. What a strange boy. His mood seemed to change so quickly. Or do I only think that's because he looks strange? He looks unusual, certainly, but not ugly. Not at all. <laughs> Take what, uh, dude? I can't read that fast. She took gym class and got stressed out a little. Really? Oh, one point in strong. Hmm, that's fair. In the late afternoon, I'm sitting on my bed with a magazine when I hear a groan. Ah. Oh. Uh. She drops her notebook on the floor, causing it to shed a couple of loose pages. What's the matter? Oh, nothing, just school. She falls backwards on the bed and kicks off her shoes, like letting them arc off in a different direction. I hate school. Sitting still, taking notes, listening to lectures about things I know already, uh, or never need to know anyway. Blech, should have gone to gym class. Well, you don't have to go to class every day. You were taking it easy today, huh? Nope, I was doing gym. <laughs> Same difference. Anyway, it's different for you. If I goof off, my brothers will catch me. Not that I care what Donald thinks, but William is different. He's a good guy. He always looked up for uh, out for me. Where are you guys from anyway? Massachusetts. 
I've uh, yet to um, write this word without a mistake. But I can say it without problems. Just not write it. Salem? Salem? Nope, Springfield. <laughs> and now we can make Simpsons references. Ooh. But were there really witches in Salem? Sure. There still are. But I know what you mean. A lot of magical people are really connected to their homes. We tend to build a tower and defend it. If things go wrong at home, you fix them. Not so keen on moving. That's the weirdest sentence I've ever read, I think. In this context. When times were bad for witches and wizards in Europe, they just hit better. They didn't go to America with, an, uh, with the early colonies. Not in big settlements, anyway. And no wizards from Afri Africa went there at all. So the only proper magical people around were, were the natives. And by the, uh, by the time of Salem, they didn't want much to do with the colonists. Then uh, a couple of kids came out wild seed. And there wasn't anybody to control them. So the witches they hanged were real? was only those kids who were witches, but they didn't know it. Then they started doing real magic, they were just as scared as the village people. This game is, um, weird. But the music is really good, I think. So they blamed other people when the preachers told them to. And it was the other people who got hanged. Hard luck on them. Can we please stop about hanging? Uh, stop talking about hanging people. It's not that doesn't make for good conversation, you know. Anyway, we have school now, so that sort of thing doesn't happen. I guess it's important to go to school, huh? Yeah. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna save this now. How's that work out? Saved an empty slot. I'm gonna save this right here. Return. And we have made a little bit of progress progress today. I see the word zombies, so I will be sure to be... Uh, show you, you should be excited for tomorrow's episode, right? So, I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you enjoyed, please check out the next one. Would be kind of cool, right? And until then, bye-bye.